If you believe my videos can really help other people, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> okay. Let's not do this an eye for an eye thing. Let's not do evil when people do us evil. Look now. I believe everyone is going to reap what they sow. So if an enemy is constantly doing evil to you, whether you see it or not, I believe that person is being punished some way or somehow. Right? Are we always going to do what is right? I don't think so. Let me say it in this way and I may be inaccurate. I think living for Jesus Christ is not so much about doing everything perfectly while you are on this earth. But I believe it is about striving for perfection. Am I telling you it is okay to do whatever you please? No. But I believe some people have it in their mind if they can't do everything perfectly, then they are no good in trying to live for Jesus Christ, so they should give up. Some people may think in that way. I don't know any human being who is 100% perfect. Not even me. Believe it or not. <laughs> Not even, <laughs> far from it, man, far from it. Yes, we should be perfect. We should aim for perfection, but I don't think any of us are perfect. Even though, let's stay away from taking revenge. Now, let me tell you this. I don't like problems. If I have to have problems, let them be as little as possible, right? Like why increase them or make more of them? Like why? If someone told me, Kevin, Uncle Kev, you have to have problems. So you have to take it. Okay, let's say a problem comes to me. Why would I increase it? Why would I do things to make it worse? Right? Why would I I guess blow things out of proportion, proportion, if I'm saying that right, and make things worse. Okay. Sometimes, and I believe we need to test the spirit, sometimes ideas or whatever they may be called, Thoughts, like, as it seems, like another consciousness. Sometimes random thoughts that I don't think they are coming from me comes to my mind telling me to do this. Sometimes I am against it. <laughs> so if sometimes 
If sometimes I am against it, how are they my thoughts? Does that make any sense? If I have control over my thoughts, if something seems like it is urging me, you know, <laughs> urging me to do it, you know, not not in a very aggressive way, not like whatever it is, it's like forcing me and pushing me like real hard. No, like, you know, urging me along. I believe that is coming from the Holy Spirit. And sometimes, maybe not all the time, sometimes I do what those thoughts tell me, which we have to test the spirit because I believe demons can place thoughts into our mind as well. Now, I don't know how it is with you, but with me, honestly, I think so much of the time, any enemy I have, or maybe I should say most enemies I have, I think they are purposely placed in my path. And you may say, Kevin, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I believe purposely, I believe some of my enemies are purposely placed on my path for me to have some type of effect upon them. I am telling you. Look now, let's say your enemy don't know much about God or choose to not learn much of God. Let's say your enemy hates God or went to a church and got hurt or whatever else. And let's say that person meets a real, real woman or man of God. Now, that enemy may be able to learn of Jesus Christ through that woman or man of God. Man, please listen. Maybe that enemy believes, hey, Christians are hypocrites and liars and cheaters, money grubbers, or whatever else. And let's say you are maybe not perfect, but let's say you are serving God and you treat that person according to what the Bible says. I believe that person can learn of Jesus Christ and probably parts of his character through you. Okay, going back to myself. I believe much of my enemies are purposely placed on my path for me to show them how I am not perfect. So please don't say Kevin think he is all that. No, I believe some enemies are placed on my path to see how a real Christian is. So many times, I believe I had some of my enemies apologize. I guess at one point, maybe they hated me or thought I was whatever. Then some of them, I believe, you know, they may have hated me or disliked me or whatever. Then so many, so much of the time, I would say, some of them may tell me either through message or verbally tell me may apologize and say you know I used to think of you in this way and I have found out I am wrong and blah 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 I am telling you so I believe 
much of the problems we may have with people, I think much of it may be God sent. How can that be, Kevin? I just told you. <laughs> I told you already, man. <laughs> so let's not only act, let's not only act godly in church, but in our personal lives. Because I believe you can teach some people about God, not only by your voice, but I believe by your actions as well. Can't you? So let's not do this eye for an eye thing. You got me into trouble, so let me get you into trouble. You slap my mom, let me slap your mom, then your dad. You know, let's not do this evil for evil stuff. Yes, we may mess up. Yes, we may yell and, well, yes, some people may yell and cuss folks out and stuff like that. But let's try to do what is right, even though we may fail. But let's repent of it and ask God for forgiveness. Let me stop here. God bless you.